Hi, it's Valerie from Our Homeschool Castle. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my top homeschool, return to homeschool supplies. Let's go. So this is a collaboration with my friend Leilani over at Living with Eve. And she had this idea to put together like this big collaboration with lots of homeschooling families, just saying like what their favorite homeschooling supplies are, you know, back to school kind of thing. For me, I am gonna talk a little bit more about like the special needs and ASL and art side of things, but in general, I could work with anybody looking to, you know, get their supply list ready. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Valerie. I am a secular homeschooling mom to five kids. We are a blended family, a special needs family, and I have three kids that are ages five and under. On my channel, we talk a lot about learning ASL as a family, art, and how we use that as art therapy, special needs homeschooling, and kind of an eclectic style. Um, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. I post videos once a week. So one of the definite, I absolutely need um, supplies is to get planners. These ones are both inexpensive. This one I got at Amazon around $13 maybe. And then this one was at Walmart for like around the same price, $11, something like that. I like to use the big ones. <laughs> Obviously this one's bigger than this one, but um, yeah, because there's a lot of room to write. I got two because I have two levels of kids. <laughs> Since I have five, I have two 10 year olds that are in the same grade and they're going to be using, I'm gonna be using this one. It's just for me to record what we do. Um, I know there's a lot of planner flip throughs on it on YouTube you can find, but I like it to be very simple and have just a lot of room to write. So the whole month in advance, you can look at if there's anything that I have to do. And then day by day, and look, it goes completely across this way. So I could write all of that stuff. And I like that. It's not for a schedule per se. It's just what I plan on teaching that day and to record the hours and attendance and all of that. And I also have to kindergarteners now too that are five and four and um so this one is also the same and i like it that it doesn't have the dates i also like to get them when they don't have the dates so that you can just write it in exactly like when you're using it which is really nice and it's got lots of room in here so i'll link those two below i'm i'm going i'm also working and currently working on building my own planner that i like you know and trying to get all the pieces that i really like um, to share with everybody else. So this is another kind of resource supply that a friend of mine handed down to me, but I really like it. It's um, a homeschool your child for free. It's a book, obviously. I'm sure they have a website as well, but I like to have the physical book so I can just open it and read it whenever I want to and not get on my phone all the time. Um, but what's nice about this, it has all different categories art, math, science, um, just curriculum in general, humanities, social studies. And what it does is that it gives you links. It talks about websites and it gives you links to each one or you know tells you where to go or just gives you ideas of how to do some free homeschooling. So this one is revised in 2009. So there might be an updated one. And if there is, I'm gonna link it below because it really has come in handy when I'm just kind of at a loss. I'm uninspired. I'm like, okay, besides our curriculum, I want to do something else for math or something or something else for science or art or whatever. Then I just look in here and I can find some really cool things like early music lessons, drum lessons, music. Are you my piano online piano lessons? I mean, it's full of a lot of things and they, it says that it's all free. I'm not sure. I think maybe some of it's just inexpensive, but, it's really helpful to have this resource just in your library, you know, um, in your homeschool library. So the other thing is I have a box that's just 
full of art supplies. Um, and some of them I get at the thrift store. There's a, I have a bunch of stencils, uh, popsicle sticks, crayons, um, you know, all of the essential stickers, just random things you can often find at the thrift store bags of just random stuff even if it's rulers and calculators I just put it all together and I just bring it out and put it away so it's like oh an exploration and a bunch of supplies that they can just create whatever they want to that being said you don't want to give them too much because it can be overwhelming and then they won't do anything so oftentimes we can just bring out like the stencils some paper and some colored pencils just focus on drawing with those like these are actually kind of like a paper doll thing that I found, but you know, stuff like that, like you have a theme and then you can create art um, with these. We also have a bunch of puzzles. Um, what I find with these, my son loves to put these together, but there's so many pieces in here. It can be overwhelming to find all the pieces. So. I usually put them in sets like these two I'll give him and then he can figure out which one goes to which but these are really good for a spelling activity and I also have a variety of cards with ABC's on them um, I think it's nice to look at different kinds of artwork and different kinds of um, cards this is actually made by a friend of mine Doug um, and it's all baseball it's really cute <laughs> um, years ago but yeah I think they're really cool to just have a variety of alphabet cards my husband's making a smoothie upstairs but this is the last one the learning by logic attribute blocks if you've never seen these sets you can find all kinds of sets of these they are you know thicker thinner larger smaller you know um, there's all sorts of things and you can play with this so one cool thing about this set of course it has coffee on it um, is that it comes with this booklet and there's all sorts of games and ideas of how to use this attribute set it's really cool and anybody can really play it at some level um, you can do a little bit harder um, logic <laughs> with the older kids and then simple just feeling the shapes and seeing one's smaller, one's larger, one's thicker, one's thinner kind of thing. So it's really great for all ages. I will leave a link below. I will look this up. So yeah, go check these out. They're pretty inexpensive and they're really good to have in your homeschool. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and stick around and go check out the playlist and Leilani's channel. Leilani is a close friend of mine. She's also a special needs mama and her channel is really great. It's really cool. She's a funny lady. <laughs> so yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.